Hey YouTube, this is Illini Pod 4232 here, and I'm going to give you a video today on how to install custom maps on TF2. So, basically, the reason you'd want to do this is like if you get on a server, it says map cannot be downloaded or something. Like, I'll show you what I mean. This is the main reason I'm making the video too. I'm going to go ahead and connect to a server. Go and parse game info. Then retrieving server info. It says missing map, map slash, and then the map name, dot BSP disconnecting. Then I can't connect to the server. So I'll show you the way to get past that. And then another reason is this sometimes can be faster. So I'm going to go ahead and go on your internet browser and then search the map name on anything you search with, like Google or Bing or whatever. C so ctf underscore turbine underscore pro underscore b1 and tf2maps.net usually will work there's usually a lot of different places you can get it from I'll just go ahead and get it from ugcleague.com and Looks like that place doesn't work, so I will get it from tf2maps.com. And then you are, you have the file. Go ahead and open it. See, there's a .bsp file. That's what a .bsp file looks like. Then what you want to do, you want to go to my computer. And this is on Windows 64-bit. All give you paths uh, I'll post the paths you go to in the description for 32-bit and for Mac you get a C drive um, then you go to program files x86 you get a steam then steam apps big R or just your name your steam name you get a team fortress 2 TF then maps, then you slide the map file in. There it is. So then, so yeah, there's then I'll oh, actually just go and connect to the server, and while it's connecting, I'll tell you more about it. So the reasons you'd want to do this is first off, sometimes it can download the map as I showed you earlier. Um, I especially noticed this on Mac. That's kind of why I'm making the video because one of my friends can't download the map on his Mac. Um, it just tells him that the it cannot download file. Um, the, I think it's because Macs can't download the type of file most servers compress the map into. But um, this is a way to get past that. You just have to download it manually. Another reason is it's faster just because maps download kind of slowly on TF2. And it's a lot easier to just download it yourself and download them all before. But Because you never know how fast a map download will go on this. It takes a while. So I'm getting on to TF2 now. It's retrieving server info going kind of slower right now though because I'm running like five different things that take up a ton of computer usage sending cloud info so getting closer and then I'm on go and go heavy and I am on just walk out here and as you can see it works alright YouTube thanks for watching